Hey YouTube, Chris Joseph here, and I'm not in my studio today, I'm at a cottage. I'm on vacation, and I thought, what better time than to test out Logic for iPad? Logic for iPad? Logic for iPad? Logic for iPad? So I'm here, I'm going to show you everything I brought to make music, and uh, we're going to try and make a track. Let's get into it. Cut, 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 cut. You know what? I was editing this video in Final Cut Pro for the iPad. Subscribe if you'd like to see that video. And I just realized, why would I bother learning a whole new DAW on my iPad when I can't use any of my plugins? I've been using Ableton on my iPad for months. Let me show you how. Now, the astute among you might have noticed that that's not actually Ableton running on my iPad. No, this is Ableton running on my Mac Mini at my studio at home, and I've remote logged into my Mac using an app. The best app for iPad, I should add, it's called Jump. And for those of you who've never used Jump, Jump lets you log into any computer around the world, as long as you've logged into it before and you've installed Jump Connect. Um, it could be a Mac, it could be a Windows. I was using this with my Windows PC long before I got my Mac thing. So I'm gonna show you how Jump works. I'm not gonna show you how to set up Jump uh, because I don't know how to do that without compromising my security. Um, but it basically, you go to jump.com, you install Jump on both your iPad on the App Store and Jump Connect on your uh, computer you wanna connect to. And then um, it's as simple as that. So I'm going to launch Jump on my iPad, and you'll see all the computers I have um, access to with Jump. I'll click on my Mac, it'll be connecting. Now, I am at a cottage, and you know what? Once it's done connecting, uh, I'll run a speed test both on the Mac Mini, so you can see my internet at home, and here at the cottage, so you can see what my internet is like on my iPad that's connecting to my studio computer. And then we'll launch Ableton, and I'll show you its performance uh, with a full session. Oh, it failed to connect. Uh, let's try. Let's try here. There we go. Enter my password. It's connecting. It's connecting. And bam, we're in. Log into my Mac Mini, and we're in. Now, occasionally, I find uh, with this app, it's not perfect. Um, sometimes the uh, the resolution doesn't change, so you just got to go in and un disable, enable. There you go, resolution matched. And this is my Mac Mini. So I, here, I could launch any DAW I want. I could even launch Logic Pro. I could launch Logic Pro, the full version on my iPad if I wanted to. Uh, we're not gonna do that today. Um, we're gonna launch Ableton. So let's get, let's uh, let's do Ableton. Live 11 Suite, wait for it to load. And here we are. This is the full version of Ableton Live. I don't know what that pink screen was. I've never seen that before. Um, and from here, I could go to drums. Uh, I could do 808 Startup Kit. Add a new track, create a MIDI clip. So we're on the iPad. Why not use the Apple Pencil? Uh, let's just go in and draw some kicks with the Apple Pencil. And it's pretty amazing. If I hit play, of course, I can't hear this because no clip is playing. And I also don't have my headphones. There you go. It took a bit. Um, we're going to go into my options and we're going to see, so I currently have the buffer size pretty high. We're going to lower that. You can see we get the latency says down to three milliseconds. I don't know if I believe that. I'm also getting some kind of artifacts on these kicks, but I could now add hats. I'm doing all this with the Apple Pencil. Uh, let's add some snares. So you can see it kind of glitched out there. It sped up and slowed down. Uh, let's open up a full set. 
so this is a song I have on my EP, uh, Medication Generation. The song's also called Medication Generation. Um, and while this loads, I'm going to go back to my desktop, and I'm going to show you an important setting you want to enable on Jump Desktop Connect. Um, so there you go. So if you go to Jump Desktop Connect and you go to Advanced, you're going to want to make sure Change Audio Device is enabled. Jump Desktop Audio is your audio capture device, and Fluid Remote Desktop is enabled. That's what lets you get such good audio out. And then once you go to Ableton, um, you're going to want to open up your preferences, and you're going to want to make sure Jump Desktop Audio is set as your audio output device. And now currently, I actually have an audio interface plugged into my iPad, it's the SSL 2 Plus, and that's what I'm using to listen to the audio. Uh, you could use Bluetooth, which I do use sometimes, just use Bluetooth because I find the latency is so bad anyways, I don't really care if I'm using Bluetooth. Um, but yeah, I could hit play. Now this is a full session, um, so I might have to increase the buffer size, uh, but my Mac Mini seems to be handling it at 64 samples. So. And so from here, I could go say to those acoustic guitars, yeah, that's the uh, that's the buffer size. So we're gonna put the buffer size back up to 1024. Like I said, I don't really care about the latency too much uh, when I'm mixing. So let's just play that. And uh, we have a guitar group here. Well, these acoustic guitars here, how about we throw on a plug-in? Now, this is Ableton. It's not Logic for iPad, so I have access to my plugins. Uh, on these acoustic guitars, we are going to throw on a bus compressor from SSL. There we go, uh, and we're just gonna drag the threshold down slightly so you can hear them getting quieter. So I'm gonna boost the makeup gain. Um, I want the pick attack to kind of get through, so I'm gonna do a longer attack. Release on auto, we can bump the ratio up. And now, of course, those acoustic guitars are gone. So you get the you get the performance. It's pretty good. Uh, and while that's running, we're going to actually go and run a speed test. So here I am, speedtest.net, uh, on the Mac Mini. So this is the internet that the Mac Mini at my house, uh, in my studio is getting. And yeah, we're on Wi-Fi 6. We got 300 megabits per second down. I think we need to upgrade our modem to get faster speeds. Um, but 300 megabits per second down, which is... Down doesn't really matter for this computer. We want the up, and it's 30 megabits per second up. So we could 25. Uh, so we could probably get that faster, and the performance would be better. I remember reading that Jump only uses 30 megabits per second maximum. Uh, so there we go. And now I'm going to go to now the same website on my iPad here at the cottage. And we're going to run a speed test. This is on my iPad. This is the Cottage Internet. This is what I'm using for the device connecting to my studio computer to stream. And it's got 5 megabits per second down. <laughs> I don't know why the performance is as good as it is. Sometimes I hotspot off my phone even uh, and do this. And the performance isn't that good. Um, and I thought LTE is faster than this. So I don't know. Um, but yeah, it seems to be working just fine. We'll wait for this test to finish, then we'll go back to Ableton. And um, yeah, Jump Desktop Connect. Look it up. It's actually a crazy app. It is the best app for iPad. Uh, so now I'm back on my Mac Mini. We're going back to... Um, and we're going to play from the second chorus. There you have it. That's how I'm going to be using Ableton Live on my vacation through Jump, uh, connected to my Mac on my iPad. I know it's a bit expensive uh, compared to Logic Pro. You need to have a Mac and you need to have an iPad, um, but it beats anything. I get to use full Ableton to mix. I couldn't find a way to record audio 
into my computer. Uh, it seems like there's a way. There's a jump desktop microphone audio device, um, but I couldn't get it to work. So I feel like you would need to record into GarageBand for a free option or record into Logic for iPad, transfer those files to Ableton to mix. And you can see the latency isn't terrible. Um, it's certainly not ideal, but for the kinds of work I would be doing on vacation uh, away from my studio, it's totally fine for me. Like I said, I sometimes even just use Bluetooth headphones uh, just to check a mix or uh, export a file for a client really quickly. Um, so that's all I have for you today. Uh, check out the other videos on my channel. You can see me and my dad building my studio desk uh, if that gets you interested. Um, I'm going to be enjoying my vacation. I hope you're enjoying your time. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and uh, we'll see you soon.